Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DiNovellis. So glad to have you join us. This edition is something special, more than an anniversary special. This is our 50th episode in this series. And my boss reminded me, one of our goals here is to always encourage savvy investors and to gently court enthusiastic newcomers. We have one franchise on offer and six, count them, six crowdfunding campaigns on review. Yes, there are a couple that you've seen featured here before, so we may just provide a little discussion and a brief glimpse. But we remind you, full-length presentation videos are always on display when you scroll down the page on www.connectsbn.com. Now, one more nugget to share with you as we get ready to blast off on our crowdfunding junket. For every single crowdfunding project you see today, the minimum, the minimum investment is only $100. That's pretty good, right? There are so many deals out there at higher initial investment prices, we thought we might be better off with a diverse group of projects with a more modest jumping in point. You can always let us know what you think by dropping an email to us here, info at connectsbn.com. We will try to oblige your requests, however you prefer, as quickly as possible. So let's not delay. The good times are on the way right after a brief word from the corner office. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Hello again, welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis, your host, and I tell you, we have a lot of dashing to do. Let's start off with a pair of projects you may remember from bygone days. Do you like good movies? How about scary movies? Or maybe you like to take your significant other to see a little romantic comedy on the big screen. It may be your time to explore Legion M as part of your investment portfolio planning. Legion M claims to be the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. The company funds films, TV shows, and VR experiences, and when it's profitable, shares the rewards and revenues among its investors. Its recipe for success appears to be working, as the founders at Legion M have raised the crowdfunding maximum for the past four years, for at least as long as SBN has been around. Let's take a closer look at the appeal of the presentation video from Legion M. Legion M is the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. What we're doing with Legion M has never been possible before. Yep. We think that an entertainment company owned by fans is better than one owned by Wall Street. And so we're funding films and TV shows and VR projects collectively as a community. And when we're successful, sharing the reward. You know, being a part of Legion M, whether you invest or not, is being a part of a community that is making a difference in the entertainment industry. You don't just own stock in the company, you own a piece of every movie we invest in. With the Legion M Film Scout app, you literally become a film scout and help us decide which movies we acquire. What's so exciting about being a part of a film like Arch Enemy is that our investors got to be a part of it from day one. They were on set, they appeared in scenes, and one of our investors, his car is the hero car in the film. This just doesn't happen in Hollywood. One of the best things about Legion M is just the inclusion, you know, the, the opportunity to be involved if you want to be who we are. I am Legion M. I am Legion M. I am Legion M. We are Legion M! Legion M is an amazing company. It's owned 100% by the fans. We see fans as having immeasurable power. What it is that you guys do that's so special is you connect with fans. And that, that's meaningful for filmmakers and for films to be able to find an audience. Our goal is one million fans unite to take over Hollywood. If we're able to achieve that, that would give us literally hundreds of millions of dollars to produce movies and television shows that have a million fans standing behind them. That's not a small company in Hollywood. That is one of the most influential companies on the planet. It's an amazingly fun process to open the gates of Hollywood and allow people to come in. And if you believe in the power of fans and a fan-owned company, yep. we want you to come join the Legion. That's why I like these Legion M cats. I am Legion M. I am Legion M. Join the Legion. 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 I am Legion. 
Minimum investment in Legion M is 100 bucks. If you want to help turn the wheels of the industry, you may want to become an equity investor in Legion M and the Small Business Network and help. Just drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives if need be, including our own legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. Remember, financing is available for most small business projects for crowdfunding and certainly for franchising. Please let us show you how. Here's another familiar crowdfunding campaign for your investment consideration. And one of these days, I might have to take one of these fancy rides for a spin. We're talking mod vans, customized wheels with multiple functions. Definitely not your grandpa's idea of a custom van. In its offering materials, they say the mod van's vision is to win the hearts of adventurers and soccer moms alike. What about soccer dads? They want people to choose a mod van's multi-purpose camper van as their next minivan, pickup truck, SUV, or RV. They want their customers to be inspired to explore the great outdoors and likewise get to work in comfort and safety. In modern, modular, and affordable camper vans. Remember, minimum investment in mod vans is $100. So, let's see what gets your investment motor running as we take a look at mod vans presentation video. Hi, I'm PJ Tezza, CEO and co-founder of Mod Vans. I'm Lori Tezza, Director of Operations, co-founder of Mod Vans. Mod Vans builds multi-purpose vehicles for family work and play. Our CV1 camper van comes standard with safe, comfortable seating for five passengers, two beds and removable camping components. Demand has been high from the start and we are in production with over 50 vehicles delivered to customers all across the United States. In 2015, we were searching for a vehicle we could park in our driveway, drive our family around every day, and use for camping on the weekends. We couldn't find anything that fit our needs, so we decided to build it ourselves. Starting in 2017, with a website and a Craigslist ad, we've grown from 4 to 13 employees, moved to a larger shop, and doubled revenue and unit production every year. Let's take a look at the ModVan CV1. It has safe, comfortable seating for up to seven passengers, five as standard. It is easy to drive, park, and service. Popular adventure options include 4x4, all-wheel drive, and a powerful twin-turbo engine. It has a pop-up top with over 7 feet of standing room and a spacious bed. All cargo area components are modular and removable. Camping features include an AC, furnace, fridge, sink, stove, toilet, shower, and two beds. New models, modules, and features are in our product roadmap. Earlier this year, we completed our first outside investment campaign, raising a million dollars from 3,200 investors. We use this money to move to a larger shop, hire new employees, and grow production from two vehicles a month to six per month. We plan to use the funds from this campaign to work on exciting new features and models and eventually launch a much larger Reg A Plus investment campaign to raise funds for our next major product expansion. Everybody have a great day. The Tezas claim the ModVan CV1 is the superhero of camper vans, hauling kids to and from soccer practice by day, road tripping by night. It's a cargo van for work during the week and a living space for play on weekends. It's an adventure van that doubles as a daily driver. The couple behind this mod van's movement came up with a practical, creative idea, did all their own heavy lifting to start this reinvention of the camper van. It's a big idea and we salute them as they continue to raise funds, bringing mod vans to market. If this crowdfunding campaign has gotten you revved up for investment, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. Financing is available for most small business startups, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. We're back with more after this short break. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. My graduation was something I will never forget. 
people like you and me sometimes may have doubts in ourselves, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host for this and every edition, Brian DeNovellis. For our next franchise on offer, you might find it very touching, especially after a prolonged period of tension during the pandemic. You might find relief quicker than you think when you become a franchisee of a hand and stone massage and facial spa. One of the things you discover right off the bat is a base of inexperienced customers. Once they tick the box for availing themselves of the services at a hand and stone, you've gone more than halfway in relieving your clients twists and knots you will have eased them into a familiar forward-looking relationship with the benefits of massage and the array of services offered. In a franchise like this, your viewpoint rules on customer service at a level that exceeds the norm in other service-related small businesses. That's a nice way to say your team has to offer confidence and care while keeping focus on a dual mantra of time is money and I will maximize your relief and relaxation. It's a unique experience and you are the beacon of high standards when you own a Hand and Stone Spa. Let's have a listen to Hand and Stone CEO and co-founder Todd Leff for his views on why you should consider owning one or more of the 450 Hand and Stone franchise locations across North America. Handstone was founded to uh, meet a demand um, to bring spa services, you know, great quality massage and facial services to a customer base that traditionally weren't able to use it, which is kind of the middle market consumer. We recognize that our franchise candidates that come to us don't have a background in massage or facials. Uh, they probably have never even you know, operated a small retail business before. We're going to be there with you every step of the growth of your hand and stone business from the first day that you start looking at a location um, you know, until the day that maybe you open your second, third, or fifth location. I'd like to personally invite you to come to a hand and stone discovery day. It'll give us an opportunity to answer all of your questions. You'll get a chance to meet our management team, and we'll get a chance to meet you and learn about what your objectives are for business ownership. I think coming to a Hand and Stone Discovery Day would be well worth the investment of your time. Take a moment today and go to our website, handandstonefranchise.com, and register for our next Discovery Day. Thank you. Now here are some of the estimated typical expenses of launching your own hand in stone location. Your initial investment runs from $567,626 to $674,476. Your net worth requirement, $750,000. Your cash requirement is $150,000 and your franchise fee is $42,500. A reminder, these figures are only estimates. The real brass tax occur in discussion between franchisee and franchiser. There's a lot more to learn about owning your own hand and stone franchise and the Small Business Network can help. Just drop us a line here. Info at sbnfranchise.com. We can connect you with business experts and legal representatives if you so desire. Remember, financing is available on most small business startups, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Coming up, calling all guitarists. If you thought you'd seen it all, you haven't seen this Sierra travel guitar. See if you think it fits your investment profile as well as your overhead carry-on luggage bin. Stay tuned, we're back in a moment. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. This is a serious problem, but one we can solve. Visit feedingamerica.org to help. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're feeding America. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com 
or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. Hey there and welcome. It's me, Brian DeNovellis, your host for SBN, the Small Business Network. It's the only show we know that puts you in touch with projects seeking your investment consideration through crowdfunding and franchising. For example, here are a pair of crowdfunding ideas the boss really likes because the innovators found a way to combine projects under the umbrella of mindfulness and practical applications. We'll start with Smart Girls, an engaging program, primarily an interactive learning experience that helps kids, particularly girls, learn coding at an early age. You might have seen one of the Smart Girls' early successes, nabbing an investment from Damon on Shark Tank, but just because he helped them get rolling didn't mean they were set for life. Let's have a look at the presentation from Smart Girls made for everyday investors like you and me. Smart Girls is an award-winning digital learning company focused on girls and children of color. As seen on Shark Tank, our company has been making headlines ever since. With our robots, apps, and characters, we have educated more than 35,000 kids with a total revenue of more than $2 million. This year, we launched Smart Buddies, remote learning, and we were named Best STEM Camp by Good Housekeeping, Parade, and even featured on Good Morning America. Join investors including Morgan Stanley, NYU, and more than 3,000 everyday investors like you. I think that the best way to learn anything is through play. So we made videos, we've done a lot of Instagram campaigns, we've been working with social media and influencers to get the word out about how you can incorporate play into your science learning. I'm Martin Pidel. I have about 20 years of experience in the toy industry. I've worked on major entertainment properties like My Little Pony, Star Wars, and Sesame Street. I'm Jesper Nissen, I'm the founder and CEO of Smart Girls, and I'm responsible for all development. That means the development of the Sikis and the development of the apps and the firmware. Now I'm able to offer you the opportunity to invest in Smart Girls and become part of an important mission. Let's work together and inspire girls and minorities to become the leaders of tomorrow. Hope you didn't forget all of the projects today have a minimum investment of 100 bucks. And if you're the father of a daughter who's the mother of a teenage son who's more into martial arts than modern computer arts, you might want to double down your investment in smart girls. By the same token, maybe keeping the peace at home depends on a program looking for your investment support. A program that builds self-esteem, inner strengths, and mindfulness. We're talking about Yoga Ed, whose founders are trying to bolster personal strengths through activities that engage both body and mind. Let's take a look at the presentation video for Yoga Ed to see whether it strikes a chord with your investment instincts. Yoga Ed has empowered millions of children and teens to thrive through our evidence-based yoga and mindfulness training and curriculum. Our programs have been studied by universities like Harvard, Tulane, and Cal State Fullerton with proven positive results. Yoga Ed works with educators, administrators, healthcare professionals, and parents to support youth in developing self-awareness and self-care skills so that they may be healthy, happy and successful in school and ultimately in life. Yoga Ed meets individuals where they're at. From free toolkits to in-depth training, people can engage at the price point and time commitment that works for them. No yoga background required. This has allowed us to build a far-reaching and diverse community with fiercely loyal members who help build our following for us as well as engage in our offerings themselves. We have an 80% completion rate. That's over five times the average for online courses. The work we do is more in demand than ever. Our trauma-informed programs provide teachers and families with the much needed resources to address the profound disruption that not only adults, but children and teens have experienced and continue to experience to this day. Hi, I'm Bryn Coletta. And I'm Julia Bond. This year, we have grown our community by 35% 
and our revenue by 100%. Now it's time to raise funds so that we can take Yoga Ed to the next level. We chose to crowd raise on WeFunder so that everyone can have the opportunity to invest, so that the people who own Yoga Ed reflect the community that we serve. Join our team of educators, mental health professionals, yoga teachers, and families who are personally invested because we see firsthand the impact that our work does. You can choose to participate in our WeFunder campaign at the level that's right for you. We will use these funds to update and scale content, sales, and marketing to engage customers as well as strategic partners to increase our revenue and our reach. Because at the end of the day, how healthy and well we are, physically, mentally, emotionally, and socially, is going to affect the way that we teach, learn, and thrive as human beings in this world. You have to admire the Founder's vision, building critical skills and disciplines that become the building blocks of adulthood, which, in the case of many youths, starts in just five, four, three, two. There's plenty more to learn about Smart Girls and Yoga Ed, and the Small Business Network can help. Let us know by dropping a line via email, info at sbncrowd.com. Remember, you can catch all the videos in today's edition by going to connectsbn.com and scrolling down to the links we have there. Remember, financing is available for most small business projects, especially crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. When we return, we check out today's environmental project seeking your financial uplift through investment. And you'll finally see a guitar that's perfect for your next flight up the charts. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Welcome back to the final act of The $100 Store, a tale of love and renewal investing in the triple digits, namely one, zero, zero. Seriously, you're back with us, SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. We didn't have to go deep for today's environmental impact report, and I, for one, am glad to cover it remotely. The good folks behind the equity crowdfunding project called Virament have developed a process to repurpose the water and the waste sludge, aka the byproducts of a working farm, into carbon positive results they think are worthy of your investment. One reason this campaign fascinated the boss, every farm they build with this new recycling capability creates 42 farm to table jobs. Anything that helps rebuild the economy is welcome around these parts. Let's watch the film presentation from the folks behind Virament to see if it passes your investment sniff test. We build high tech facilities for the world's largest protein producers. in general had a pain point and that was what to do with this large amount of highly liquid product. It's really important for us to reuse water and I've been searching for a solution for that for a long time and that's where I met Paul. piece of land, we put an amazing high-tech facility on it, 
and then we lease it out on a triple net lease. Now that means the tenant pays for everything, taxes, insurance, repairs, maintenance, utilities, the whole thing. So what we've done is we've made a guaranteed equation. It's about change, it's about impact. And we are gonna reuse water, we're gonna extract nutrients, and we're gonna create jobs all at the same time in this great state of Nebraska. We'd love to tell you more about what we're doing and answer any questions, and we look forward to partnering with you in the future. Hey, and thanks again for your time. Like everything else in this edition, the minimum investment is only $100. Now let me tell you a little more about this guitar that makes it nearly impossible to goof up while you're flying from gig to gig. A quick note, my boss has had five guitars permanently goofed up due to airline assurances. And despite his interest in goof-proof experiences, your investment in this instrument might pay off in ways too soon to calculate. Let's take a look behind the early buzz for the Sierra guitar. My professional day job was a, as a patent attorney. I was a business traveler. I traveled 40 plus times a year and had to tote my guitar. It was terrible. So as a patent attorney, I've been telling people for years, if you can solve for the friction in your own life, you can solve it for somebody else. I took my own advice for the very first time, and so this was born out of a distinct and sincere need for myself, so I invented this guitar. Ciara Guitars, we've solved the problem of guitar inconvenience. The problem of guitar inconvenience extends way beyond air travel. In the U.S. alone, it impacts an estimated 50 million guitarists and those interested to learn, whether they're traveling by auto, RV, boat, or even motorcycle. Simply put, it's cumbersome, stressful, and it risks guitar damage or loss. With the throw of a hidden lever, it goes from a full-size, normal look, feel, play guitar to this. It can go in a backpack for easy transportation or storage. When you want to play again, simply throw that lever, top off tune, and you're ready to rock. During the pandemic, people turned to music for calm and connection. For the New York Times in September, guitar playing surged in 2020. Between this and the explosion of remote work and digital nomads, we are poised to be the next household name in guitars. So whether you're into van life, RVs, boating, yachting, motorcycles, or you're simply sitting at home, your guitar will always be at your side. The main parts of the Ascender that allow it to fold, three things in combination. Number one, you have a hinge of the 12th fret. Number two, you have an actuator that tensions and detensions the strings. And number three, you have a translating truss rod that locks and unlocks that hinge. Two years in earnest of engineering, hardcore engineering, where we hired medical device engineers. The technology behind the Ascender is what makes this a guitar and not a gimmick. I get a lot of people that are just having their minds blown and frankly, my own. <laughs> we use the PLEC technology and its computer controlled milling system on our necks to ensure proper fingerboard curvature and fret dress for premium action and playability. Funds will help enable us to scale, drive our production costs down and partner with retailers to help commercialize our premium ascender and develop our next masterful creations, a mid-tier electric and a carbon fiber acoustic. We're gonna make our mark on the $2.79 billion global guitar market. It's, it's a great sounding guitar. Um, you could play any style of music. This is an electric guitar that I would play on stage. Invest today and join the CRE family as we revolutionize the world of music. So, what do you think? Don't forget the minimum investment this time around is only $1. Hundred dollars. If you would like to learn more about investing either in Vironment or the Sierra Guitar, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by contacting us here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. We can show you how. That's going to wrap things up today. We hope you saw something that piqued your curiosity for small business investment, or at least something presented that brought a laugh or a smile to your face. We invite you to come back and watch anytime, and we thank you for making us part of your regular viewing habits. So, until next time, good health, good heart, and good investments. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Thank you from all of us here at SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs.